What's up, cutie pie? How are you? Jocelyn McClellan here with Fit Mission Makeup, and I'm going to show you all the goodness of Mascara Beauty brushes and what they can do for you. These are honestly the best brushes I've ever used, so here we go. All right, you, it's time to get down to the nitty gritty, and with brushes, it is going to make the biggest difference with your makeup. Now, you're talking to somebody who always either used her finger or those cheap sponges, like the ones that somebody uses if they don't wanna ever use that sponge again. That's what I grew up with, had no idea that there was something else. And then when I got older, I invested in more expensive brushes, but those brushes didn't even compare to these ones, and if you know me, you know how legit I am when it comes to stuff like that. So stick around, I'm gonna show you these. What I'm gonna do first and foremost is kind of walk you through face brushes and then we'll get down into the other. So all over application brushes. Now with mascara, we recognize that there is a lot of different people that have a lot of different ways that they apply their makeup and everybody has a heavy hand, a light hand, an in-between hand, and everybody has a different style that they'd like to wear their makeup. There is not no, there is not one way, there's not two ways to apply makeup, there are multiple. So I'm gonna tell you my very favorite brushes so that you know right off the get-go. My two favorite that I say, man, across the board, if you wanna have a light application, a heavier application, whatever it may be, my two favorite brushes right now in 2020 using mascara brushes are the Detailed Hack Brush, which is this baby right here, and the Blush and Bronzer Brush, okay? So the Detail Hack Brush, it has the two ends. When mascara started using it, um, they are always like, all right, do your whole entire face with this, contour with this, but we kind of learned that you can switch it around and do whatever you want. So my very favorite way to apply with this brush with my foundation up front is to go in to the detail areas and get those detail areas first Okay, and then chin detail areas, anywhere that has redness or where you wanna for sure get solid application there. So I do it in between my eyes, I do it down my nose, under my nose, and then under my eyes and on my chin. So I'll get that area, those areas first. Then if you choose, you can turn it around and get just a little bit of product onto your brush and then sweep it along the jawline sweep it on across the forehead, and then stipple it on carefully under the eye just to make sure that you're blending in that in well. Then you can contour on this end. Oh my gosh, this end of the brush to contour with is so good because your cheekbone, it's longer and we can shift it. So I come in here and then I'm going to kind of sweep it like this and it makes the most beautiful line. I'll show you with my brush that isn't as clean as that as that one is real quick like for you so that you see. So I like to go in right here, okay, first and foremost, and just get a good application on right in there and then I'm going to sweep the rest with what's ever left and then blend out that area like so with my contour. So I have this nice, beautiful line. You can also do it with this end too. You can always go in, get that area, okay? And then continue sweeping it out, kind of blending softly as you go. But I, I, I usually always end up turning my brush over and blending that out perfectly from applying, okay? So that is one way right there for the Detail Hack Brush. The next thing, the reason why I love these two together is because my this brush can also substitute on this end, the small end of the blush and bronzer brush, it can substitute as your all over foundation brush. It's so soft, it's dense, not too dense, not as dense as this one that I will talk about in a, a little bit, but it is so good and soft that as you come in here or across the face, anywhere, it gives you really good application. You apply your blush with this end. You can apply your bronzer or uh, your highlighter, your like brightener, we call it an illuminator. I like to put it on just this corner and then sweep it on my face like that. And if you ever feel like you need to blend in your blushes just a bit more, which I will show you here, 
If you ever need to blend those brushes in, uh, blushes in just a bit more because you're like, okay, that's way stronger than I want. You can take this brush, turn that side over and help blend it out just like so. And then you have this beautiful look with your blush just like that, okay? All right, so those are these two. Absolutely love them. They are favorites of mine. The next two brushes that I want to, or the next brush that I wanna talk about, this is the 30 second hack brush. The 30 second hack brush is not my favorite, um, if I'm being real with you, which I always do, but um, the reason why this one, it actually gets a lot of cells is because people want to go in and not have to apply. So you notice that with this brush, it's smaller than that tip. So when I go in, it takes, if I'm being real time here, it takes a little bit longer to get under that eye, whereas this one, you're under that eye just like so. But the thing I don't like about this end is people tend to get too much product on the end. So if you feel like you're seeing streaks, if you feel like it's not setting in there well, you have too much um, on your brush. And I recommend just making sure with your foundation, you get it in that just on that tip instead of like sweeping in to get a lot of product. The other option that you have on this is where it's kind of like the end of the blush and the bronzer brush. See, they're fairly close. You can also apply, uh, so like do the tip to the inner eye, okay? And then turn it over and apply like so using this brush. That's another option of how you could apply. To contour on this end, I like to squeeze it and then go in and apply it and do that hugging motion again. And that's how you can apply or you can stipple it to apply your contour, okay? So there's a couple different ways that you can use this brush if this is the one you choose. Just remember, a little of this makeup always goes a long way, like always, always, always. Okay, the next one that you can apply your face with, this one right here, this is the Buffy brush. The Buffy brush is boss, but she's more dense, so you're going to get a stronger application with her. Um, Okay, so this is with the Buffy. She is way more dense, she's amazing, but she is more dense, which means when you go to put it on, you have to have a light hand with the makeup and stipple it on, because when you sweep it, you might feel that it isn't exactly where you are wanting it to apply. So just make sure you're pressing that in when you use it. It's a really good brush. The other thing I really like about it is I'll go in with the smaller end and I will do this one to contour with. The reason why I like to contour with this baby right here is because it is already at an angle. So since it's already at an angle, you can go in and sweep that contour line in really, really well. It does a really good job contouring. And then if you ever feel like the smaller end just isn't cutting it, turn it over and blend it out. So this is something really awesome with the Buffy brush, but she is more dense. So if I have somebody that has really textured skin who doesn't want a ton of makeup, I would not get this brush. I would stick to another brush or this next one that I'm gonna talk about right here if you're wanting to have a lighter application, okay? So this again is the Buffy brush. So we have covered the blush and bronzer brush, the detail hack brush, and the Buffy brush and also the 30 second hack brush, okay? Okay. The last face one, actually I could put two here. Okay, the last face one that I wanna cover, except for I will add one more, haha, <laughs> is this one, okay? This one is the best blend forever brush. There's so many Bs. The, bl the best blend forever brush. Yeah, that's what it's called, best. Blend Forever Brush, <laughs> it's a big one. Okay, so the thing I like about this one, I actually use this one a lot. If you saw mine, she is well used, this baby right here. She's a little dirtier than this one. So on this end right here, this is the end that I like to go in and add that detail to go in really well under the eye. So I'll get in under the eye, okay? And then if I ever felt like I even wanted it even lighter of an application, I'm gonna blend it out with this end, okay? So I'll blend out with this one. This is for a lighter application. But I'll do this kind of like I do the detail hack brush on this small end. Under eye, okay, stipple, stipple, down nose, in between here, blend out, okay? On chin, blend out, 
under nose, blend out anywhere that you need to get in tighter, okay? And then you can turn it around and barely use any product in all the other areas. That's how you get a light application. If you ever feel like it's too light of an application, then go in with that small end, stipple in, and you don't need to blend it out with this end. You can also contour with this end. I like to go in here. I'll show you again with my brush. Okay, you go in with the small end, okay? And you have that line, you can create that line. You can continue to keep sweeping or you can always turn it around to blend it out. Just remember if you're like, hey, my contour isn't showing up, one, it's because you're blending too much, or two, you got too light of a, found, or a, a contour color. If you got the colors that we have, like stone, walnut, aspen, those three colors, if you have tanner skin, they're gonna be way too light for you. Astoria, henna, um, indigo, and ash. They'll be a little bit more warm for you, or, or sorry, darker for you. And so if, you, if they're not showing up, just let me know, and then I can make sure that I get you the colors that you need, okay? All right, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna show you blush with this end. So the bigger end, I love to apply the blush with, and I'll come here and I just swirl. And that swirl, it does such a gorgeous job applying the blush. Oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. Let me make sure I have, every, I probably have a lot of contour on now, but it is what it is. I've, I've applied it like three or four times today. So, but I do love this little swirl that it gives and it just gives you the most beautiful blush application. It's so good. Another thing that people like to do with this brush is they love to apply their, um, their illuminator with it. But because I've been using it as a cream, I don't wanna put a powder with it. And so, um, because you don't wanna mix your creams and your powders, not to mention, if you're using your whole face with that, the the cream, like or the powder glitter gets in there and it's not going out. So make sure if you uh, want to use one of these for your illuminator, your little sparkly baby, make sure that you um, get a different one, get two. One for just that illuminator and one for your main foundation color, okay? So people will take it and put it on that end just like I do with my end of the the blush and bronzer brush and you'll sweep it on there just like that but with this end of that and you can just sweep it on there okay all right i gotta show you one more face brush hold tight so this baby right here this is the powder the power powder brush gosh almighty they're tongue twisters this brush is so incredible absolutely love it I'll show you both ends there, okay? So you can actually apply your makeup with this. Um, when we very first had these brushes come out, we transferred from wood to this, and so some, a lot of them had actually gone out of stock, leaving this one one of the last ones that we had in stock, so we all were using it for our face. It did a really, really good job. So you can use either end to put your foundation on. This one is super soft, but if you are applying it too thick, you will notice that you'll get streaks. So anytime you see your, your makeup with textured skin, streaks, or it looks like makeup and doesn't blend in really well with your skin, something is off with your foundation colors, okay? And then the other thing is, depending on what brush we're using, if we're not applying our makeup like we should, like we're using too much because we think we want stronger coverage or whatever, if you do this makeup in lighter layers, it it's a, it's a huge difference within your makeup application. So brushes and technique always come into play, but it's something that I can help you with any of my customers being their artist. Um, anytime that they want individual help with their brushes or anything, they can even send me a little video of how they apply it, which is boss and so helpful for you. Um, and then I can work with you on technique too. But one thing that is awesome with these is you can um, apply your uh, blush on this end, you can apply your foundation on this end because it looks a lot like the detail hack brush end in a way. And um, you can also apply your foundation here with this end. And it also, because there is that angle at it, it gives you a really good line that you can go in and contour with, right? By placing your contour on that tip. So this one is actually made for powder because, check this out. So anytime that people use powders, um, we've been taught to kind of take our powder and just get it on our the ends and then fluff it around. But let's think about this. If you have 
oily, oily skin, okay? You're gonna take this, it's nice and flat. Okay, when you have that and then you press that into your oils, you're pressing it into your oils, which is stopping them from kind of producing because you are blocking it a lot more. If you are just flimsily putting this around, there's nothing really helping it sit there because it can be sitting on your hairs instead of really pressing that and getting it in there onto that skin. So that's where these come into play so well is getting that powder right where you need the powder and pressing it in. So this is why it's the power powder brush and you can, again, even use it on your face. That leaves us with these four babies right here. They are such good brushes, absolutely love them and you're gonna love them too. So I have the eyeshadow everything brush. This one is rock solid with, especially if you have little eyes like me, this is the hotline brush. So you can go in, you can do your brows, you can work with your lashes, and then you can apply your eyeliner or your brows there. This is the blush, or sorry, the blend and tap brush. This one is awesome at adding detail. So if you wanna contour your nose or your eyes or blemishes, anything like that. And this is the multitasker brush. Okay, this brush, you can do acne, you can do eyeliner, you can use eyeshadows, you can get in and add detail, you can get a more defined look with the eyeshadow that you're using. You, there are so many options for this. So I'll walk you through this really quick like. So this one right here, this is the eyeshadow everything brush. This baby, it is the most perfect fluff on one end and how hard it is on the other end is so helpful. Anytime you have an eyeshadow look that you have created and you wanna use even a darker color but not use very much of it, use this fluffy end. When you also go in with a transition color or your very first light color, this end comes in handy really, really well. So anything you wanna do with eyeshadows, this baby can create. It has such a good amount of fluff to it that you can even keep stippling in the exact same places and it will really blend out those colors for you. Okay, this end, it makes it um, show up stronger on your eye. It's a stronger tip. I mean, when I press on that, it's a lot stronger tip. And so when I bring it into the exact areas that I want it, I'm gonna be able to apply a really awesome eye with it. And then I can keep tapping in place again. And I even have tutorials on this that you guys can watch over and over and over again on Facebook or here with how I do my eyes. I love this brush so much. Okay, the hotline brush. So we have our wand on the top and this end is actually really strong, okay? It's not flimsy. Uh, can you see that? Can you see how this end is, how um, nice and fine the tip is? Okay, so you can get in there really, really well with an eyeliner or your brows. So what you wanna do with your brows, you can go in with contour, you can go in with the eyeshadow, everything, but you're going to turn the brush around for eyeshadows where the angle of it is like so, okay? And you're going to have that be what goes down and then you're gonna flick it up. So for example, if I wanna use this as an eyeshadow on my brows, I'm gonna have that this angle down and then I'm just gonna flick it up into hair-like um, strokes with my eyeshadow colors. Same exact thing if I wanted to do my brows with a contour is I'm gonna have this um, angle, right up where it angles from here up like that. I'm gonna have that at the bottom and that's gonna help me flick it up. Cause if I do that, I can't get it as well. So that's why I wanna have that angle at the bottom and then I'm gonna create it to flick up. Okay, so you can do that with a contour or you can do that with an eyeshadow. So flick it up to help achieve that look. Like so. Okay, then for eyeliner, you're gonna hold it the right direction. So the, the end that comes down here, now we're gonna have it here and it's gonna stay at that angle. But I'm going to bring this, the, the taller angle, out to the outside when I go in and place my eyeliner. Now, I will tell you one trick with this brush is if you're using a cream eyeliner with it, it does a better job if when you have that cream eyeliner on, you press it into place. 
Um, when you don't have a cream and it's, it's just a regular eyeshadow, you can go in and go across your lash like so, just doing bits at a time. But if it is one where you have a cream, you wanna go in part, part, part it, part it, place, or place it, whatever word, place it, place it, place it, place it, and just place it across there, and it does a really good job. Because it's a harsher line, that's why it is like that, but it does a really good job. Brows, you can use this, or if you're like me with lash extensions, you can put them in place with how you want them. Okay, the multitasker brush. This end is so amazing at helping with acne. Um, so I do have uh, tutorials that I've done and Facebook tutorials that I've done where we cover acne or we can go in to the exact location of where something is and hit that location up. Um, and then this end, you would take then this end, get some powder on the tip, press the powder in to where the acne is and then press it in. And that's gonna make a really big difference for your acne. So for your sunspots or anything like that, it depends how big they are, but just make sure you're paying attention not to get that darker color out of the actual area of the sunspot. Darker color means I've color corrected you that the sunspot or the blemish of some sorts, it's not the same color as your normal foundation colors and it helps you apply it so much better. I promise. Let me know if you need help, because it totally works. Okay, the next one is that blend and tap brush, okay? So it has a bigger end and a smaller end. This one, of course, can take care of blemishes as well, as well but I love contouring my nose with this baby, and also eyeshadows. It does a great job on eyeshadows too. It is so soft, I absolutely love it, and honestly, if I could just sit here all day and just run this back and forth, I totally would. Okay, the very last one, or is that it? I think that's it. Lovely, that's so awesome. Okay, so the moral to this story is I'm obsessed with their brushes. I really truly am. They have a brush collection, some of the brush collection, everything isn't exactly in it, but their brushes are so incredible, I can't even say it enough. If you have any more, any anything else that you need help on, I have oodles of tutorials that you can get info on brushes from and you can see how I apply and you can see what we do. But just so you know, anytime you're my customer, girl, if you want help with your face, I got you. You can send me a photo of you facing an open window in or not in the makeup and it, I'm super chill, I promise you, super chill. You can also, um, email me, like always ask for help. I'm more than happy to help you. Again, I'm Jocelyn McClellan with Fit Mission Makeup, here to help you. You can find me on Instagram at jocelyn.mcclellan and you can find me on Facebook at Fit Mission Makeup with Jocelyn McClellan where I go live every Tuesday and Thursday, Tuesday's makeup, Thursday's hair, and then there's all kinds of stuff going on in between. I hope you have a great day. I hope you like and subscribe to this channel. If you need me, you know where to find me.